Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Polydori Necropunk. And Polydori Necropunk has this question. What age is too early to start to teach your child about energetic work like grounding and centering and shielding? And before they can be taught, is it appropriate to do it for them yourself? And my answer to this is that I personally look upon psychic hygiene in very much the same way as physical hygiene. And therefore, I would say it's never too early to start. If someone were to say to you that your child should never bathe until it can bathe itself, you would think that was ridiculous. If someone said to you that your child's nails should not be cut until they were old enough to cut them themselves, obviously this would be very dangerous to the child. And I think the same is true for energetics, that things like cleansing and grounding and shielding are important from the start, even before the child can do them themselves. And so, in answer to the second part of the question, yes, absolutely, I think that the parent should do these energetic things for their child as a matter of hygiene. And the appropriate time to start to teach the child is just as soon as they can understand. Although you may want to approach it, in the nature of a game or uh, any other way that is simple for them to understand, you don't have to teach them all about energetics in order to teach them how to clear and release their energy or in order to teach them how to shield. And I think this should be as early as possible. And this is the same with the example of the bath. You don't have to teach your child how germs work in order for them to have a bath or in order for them to bathe themselves. They just need to know how to do it. They don't necessarily need to know all the reasons that it's important. And they can learn those reasons as it becomes appropriate. And I think it's exactly the same with energetics. So, never too early, and yes, it's appropriate for you to do it for them until they can do it themselves, in my opinion. So those are my thoughts on that subject, and I hope you find them helpful. And once again, we have come to the end of a week of vlogs. And it's time to choose the viewer's favorite question. And this week we have the following questions to choose from. On Monday we had death revisited from Granny Matrika. On Tuesday we had funeral from a Beafo. On Wednesday we had Anamalia from Blue Iris. And on Thursday we had change of palm from Reverend John Martin. And of course today we have too young from Polydori Necropunk. Please tell me which was your favorite. You can vote in the comments section at Magic TV, on Facebook pages where the vlog appears, or by email to me at donlewishp at aol.com. And thank you for watching another week of vlogs, and until next time, may you blessed be. Reverend Don, Super Omnibus of Incantations and Invocations for All Occasions. Marianne Kay and I created this massive compendium of magic and artwork for you to use in any way that you would like. There are literally hundreds of spells and hundreds of illustrations which can be mixed and matched and used in many different ways. Check it out now at witchgoolstore.com.